Hey everybody, welcome back to Veteran Bassin. Today we're going to be talking about another jig, the swim jig. Stay tuned. Well, we're here to talk about the swim jig, and before we do that, let's get this other stuff out of the way. Um, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit that notification bell. And don't forget to leave a comment in the section below and let me know what you would want to hear, see, or you think you're going to see me do. <laughs> Mind you, I'm still recovering from surgery, but let's get into this. The swim jig. Swim jig. Now, this time of the year, swim jig is no good. No bueno, no nothing. I'm going to tell you that now. The swim jig excels in grass. Thick matted grass, light sparse grass, um, standalone little grass mats. The swim jig performs well in those. Again, just like the casting jig before, the swim jig um, pretty much is going to run on the same setup very same setup again 15 to 17 pound line um seven foot to seven foot three medium heavy that'll get anybody through anything and probably a six four to one or seven three to one gear ratio that's all you really need now with that being said trailers trailers you could pretty much run any trailer you want on this. You could run, you could run a cross trailer, a cross, a cross trailer. You could run a, uh, you could run some sort of kitet. You can even run a fluke style trailer. You can even, you can even do that, but. Trailers, kind of figure them out. What I find works best for me is a cross style trailer. Instead of rigging it where the both will flap, rig it sideways so that one will flap and you cut off one. So basically, you're going to run it like this, not like that. Like that. And you fire it out there. Find you some of the thickest grass that you can find. Uh, any kind of grass, lily pad, so for so on. When it's thick, this is your go-to guy. This is your go-to guy. Now, it may take a little bit of uh, rod twitches, you know, to get that bait to uh, give a little bit of secondary action. To get that skirt to flare out and so forth so on. So, with that being said, I will give one extra tip. When you're fishing this bait, you want to find that thick matted grass. And I know I'm way early because, you know what I'm saying, the grass is nowhere in sight right now. But trust you me, refer back to this video when that time comes. But when you find that thick matted grass where most people want to try to avoid it, no, no. Some of your biggest fish is going to be in that matted grass. So you want to run that bait right into that mat. And you want to keep whining and whining until you pretty much are stuck. Till you're stuck. Once you do that, rip it free. Give your rod to pot to rip it free. I promise you, if there's a fish in there, if there's a bass in there, and nine times out of ten, it's going to be a pretty good size, it will bite. It will bite. Trust me on that because now you just entered that bash's home. In a sense, you kind of punched and flipped, which we will talk about that later on. So, with that being said, there it is. That is your swim jig in a nutshell. You know. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell, and comment on anything else you would like to see. Better and bass and love you out there. One.